let's keep going. We got Article 342, Intermediate Metal Conduit, IMC. So the change here is we increase the allowable sizes of intermediate metal conduit. This is 342.20. And we made the same change in 358.20 for EMT. Not sure that you're really going to see that come to fruition in EMT, maybe. But let's take a look at what the code says. In 344.20, which is rigid metal conduit, rigid metal conduit says the smallest size RMC that, you can, that you're allowed is trade size half, right? Half inch. And the maximum trade size RMC is six. So half inch to six inch rigid metal conduit. Well, why not allow that for IMC? It's allowed it for rigid. Why would we not allow it for IMC? Remember, IMC uses newer alloys than rigid metal conduit. So IMC, believe it or not, is actually not only lighter than rigid, but stronger as well. So it's kind of interesting. It has a thinner wall than rigid. So it has a bigger cross-sectional area inside. You can put more, rate, more conductors in IMC and it weighs less and it's actually stronger. So there's no reason why we would not allow six inch RMC or six inch IMC, pardon me. Now, I've never tried it, obviously, but six inch IMC, man, I'll bet you could drive a tank over that thing and not hurt the raceway. Six inch IMC, that is a serious chunk of pipe. To, to understand the size here, look at these two couplings. The small one, I say small, that's a two inch rigid metal conduit coupling or two inch IMC coupling. Um, we know how big, you know, two inch IMC, that, that's a decent sized pipe. Six inch is huge. And that's what we're looking at back there in the back of the, of the picture there. So two inch to six inch, the difference is monumental. If we had a half inch compared to a six inch to really see the difference, it's, it's incredible. So there you go. I can have six inch IMC, just like I've always had six inch rigid. The other thing though, and, and I mentioned this briefly, is that we can now have six inch EMT as well. I don't know that you're ever gonna see that because six inch rigid and six inch IMC, man, that's a serious chunk of pipe. Uh, I don't know what you would have to do to damage six inch rigid or six inch IMC. Seriously, I mean, that, that, that is some gnarly stuff. Six inch EMT, you know, the, the thinner the, the raceway material, the, the smaller we have to keep it. I mean, if you had a, think about like 12 inch EMT, you know, it, 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 it's thin enough that it wouldn't be strong enough. You know what I mean? Like you, you could probably make 12 inch rigid metal conduit. You'd never be able to pick it up, <laughs> you know, but it would probably be strong enough. Six inch EMT because of the thinner wall. I don't know that you're ever going to see it. Maybe people will try it. I don't know. But for right now, I think you're probably still going to see EMT kind of maxing out at 4 inch, where Rigid and IMC are going to max out at 6 inch. So and we'll see what happens. But there you go. We're not going to impede technology. We're not going to say, no, you can't do it. If somebody decides they want to try and do it, well, then we'll, we'll let them do it. So there you have it. New larger sizes of EMT and intermediate metal conduit.